Okay, finally got the Jeep in the garage. Well, I can actually work on it, not in the mud. Um, what we're doing now is we're taking the AMC 20 that's in the back of this male Jeep and we're going to put in uh, an 8.8 out of an Explorer. Okay, here's the 8.8 .8 rear end that we're going to be putting in the Jeep. Uh, right now we're just removing perches and welding on new ones. Okay, I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the axles. The old one is an AMC 20 and the new one I'm putting in is an 8.8 .8 out of an Explorer. It's probably about 150% stronger. I don't really need it. I'm not going to be doing any wheeling. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't have gone for the disc brakes. I would have gone, or I wouldn't have gone for the drum brakes. I would have gone for the disc brakes. Um, well, main differences between these axles is the UV joint yoke on the old one, and the di different style. It's like a plate that you bolt this onto to get the the UV and. I checked online, I checked online all forms and I couldn't find anything to bolt this bad boy into the Jeep so I thought I'd have to fabricate everything and have everything fabricated for me. Uh, drive line relocated or lengthened, um, different ends on it or whatever. But I went to Napa and I asked for the, the yoke or the UV for both trucks and I put them side by side and measured them and they're virtually identical. There is absolutely no difference between them except for the price. The Jeep one cost twice as much, and so I went for the Ford one, and because it's cheaper, uh, I, I'm assuming they're more expensive because CJ's break drive lines and axles and UVs all the time, and it's just things that people stock in their rigs. And if you gotta buy it, you gotta buy it, and people pay for it. That's just a little tip um, for anybody that wants to put an 8.8 .8 in their male Jeep. Right now it'll bolt right up. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm hoping that the placement with the axle will be perfect. Otherwise I might still have to shorten the drive or lengthen the drive. The Jeep is back under its own weight with the new axles and the tires stick out a little bit more. So uh, let me jump on it and see if I can get the tires to touch. I can't tell by what I filmed, but looks like it. Mind you, it's got no shocks, and uh, there's tools in the back, so it kind of made a little bit of noise, but <laughs> uh, I think it passed, um, at least without a load. <laughs> 